The Subaru maintenance conversation just took a dark turn after hundreds of you flooded the comments with conflicting advice about CVT fluid changes. It's time to deliver the maintenance reality that dealers absolutely don't want you to discover. They were known to have complete transmission failures with their CVTs and it was a very common problem with those vehicles and it kind of scared a lot of consumers away from the CVT transmission when they were looking up things about CVTs. They kept seeing these massive amounts of people who were having total transmission failures and replacements early on in the lifespan of the vehicle. No more confusion, no more dealer lies, just hardcore evidence about which maintenance schedules actually work, which fluids prevent failure and exactly why following official recommendations will cost you a $7,000 transmission replacement. This isn't about taking sides. This is documented proof backed by technical service bulletins, warranty extensions, and independent shop data that exposes how dealer maintenance programs are designed to fail your CVT right after warranty expiration. If you're following dealer recommendation or confused about those 30,000 versus 100,000 mile debates in the comments, this information will either save your transmission or prove it's already too late. All technical service bulletins, fluid specifications, and maintenance data referenced today are linked in the first comment below. Official Subaru documentation and independent analysis you can verify yourself. Time to cut through the maintenance mythology. The dealer maintenance scam that's destroying CVTs. Here's the uncomfortable truth. Subaru dealers operate maintenance programs designed to maximize service revenue, not transmission longevity. The evidence is overwhelming when you compare their recommendations against actual reliability outcomes. The 100,000 mile fluid change deception. Subaru's official maintenance schedule lists CVT fluid changes at 100,000 miles under normal driving conditions. This recommendation exists for one primary reason, ensuring your transmission survives just long enough to exit warranty warranty coverage while guaranteeing expensive post-warranty service revenue. The problem, almost every real-world driving condition qualifies as severe duty according to their own criteria. Severe duty conditions include stop and go traffic during commuting, operating temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit or below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, towing any load including bike racks or cargo carriers, driving in mountainous or hilly terrain, short trips under 10 miles in length, Translation, if you actually drive your Subaru anywhere other than perfect highway conditions, you need fluid changes every 30,000 miles, not 100,000 miles. Yet dealers continue pushing extended intervals because it maximizes their transmission replacement business. The wrong fluid crisis exposed. Multiple commenters shared experiences with dealers installing incorrect CVT fluid, and this isn't accidental. Service departments routinely stock whatever fluid is cheapest or most readily available, then use it universally regardless of your specific transmission requirements. Using wrong fluid causes immediate internal damage that doesn't show symptoms until catastrophic failure occurs around 60,000 to 80,000 miles. By then, the damage is irreversible and your warranty claim gets denied for improper maintenance. Even though their own service department caused the problem, the financial reality is staggering. Dealers charge $350 to $450 for CVT fluid changes, while the actual fluid costs $45 to $65. That's a markup exceeding 400% on fluid alone, and they're often using the wrong specification that will destroy your transmission within 40,000 miles. Now that we understand how dealer practices are sabotaging transmissions, let's examine what actually works for long-term CVT. CVT survival, the DIY versus professional reality, what you can actually handle. Not every maintenance task requires dealer expertise, but CVT service demands specific procedures that most quick lube shops simply cannot handle properly. Understanding what you can tackle versus what requires professional service could save you thousands while protecting your transmission. The Subaru CVT has really impressed me a lot. I was a little skeptical at first, especially hearing about CVT issues. And uh, the CVT for a daily driver is probably the best transmission out there. I would prefer it over any automatic transmission I've ever used. Of course, it's gonna be less fun, less engaging than a manual. For a daily driver that you're not racing or anything, it's a really awesome transmission. It's super smooth, it gives you the power when you need it, it can sit at peak horsepower. 
So again, I really like the Subaru CVT. What requires professional CVT service? CVT fluid changes aren't like traditional automatic transmission service. These transmissions lack conventional drain plugs and require precise procedures that most DIYers and chain shops get wrong. Professional CVT service requires specific temperature monitoring. Fluid must be maintained between 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit during the entire fill procedure. Outside this range, you'll either underfill or overfill the transmission, both of which cause catastrophic damage within months. The procedure also demands computer diagnostic equipment for proper relearn sequences. After fluid changes, the CVT computer needs recalibration to adjust shift points for new fluid viscosity. Skip this step and you'll experience rough shifting that progressively damages internal components. Choosing the right independent shop. Not all independent shops understand Subaru CVT requirements. Before trusting anyone with your transmission, verify they can demonstrate specific knowledge about your exact model, year, and transmission type. Red flag warning signs include claiming all CVT fluid is the same, cannot identify your specific fluid requirement without looking it up, doesn't mention temperature monitoring procedures, and offers CVT service under $150 total cost. Quality shops will stock multiple Subaru CVT fluid types, own proper diagnostic equipment, and understand the temperature-specific fill procedures that separate professional service from transmission destruction. DIY Feasibility Assessment Experienced DIYers with proper equipment can perform CVT fluid changes, but this isn't a beginner maintenance task. The precision required and consequences of mistakes make professional service the safer choice for most owners. If you choose DIY, you'll need professional grade equipment including accurate torque wrenches, infrared thermometers, and diagnostic scanners capable of Subaru protocols. The initial tool investment exceeds $500, making DIY economical only if you plan multiple services or enjoy working on vehicles. The Fluid Confusion Crisis – Exact Specifications That Actually Matter CVT fluid confusion has destroyed more Subaru transmissions than any mechanical defect. Using incorrect fluid voids warranties and causes damage patterns that appear identical to normal wear, making warranty claims nearly impossible to pursue successfully. The Critical Fluid Evolution Timeline Subaru has changed CVT fluid specifications multiple times, creating a maze of incompatible fluids that dealers routinely mix up. Each fluid type serves specific transmission designs, and using the wrong specification causes immediate damage that manifests months later as normal wear patterns. 2010 through 2015 models, the discontinued fluid problem. Legacy, Outback, and Forester models from this era require CVTF fluid in blue containers with part number SOA-427V1315. Here's the problem. Subaru discontinued this fluid, creating supply shortages that force dealers to substitute newer formulations. CVTF2 can substitute for CVTF in emergency situations, but requires complete fluid replacement, not top-off procedures. Many dealers perform partial fluid exchanges using CVTF2, creating a mixed fluid situation that destroys transmissions within 20,000 miles. 2015 through 2019 models. The green fluid standard. Most models from this period use CVTF2 in green containers. Part number SOA427V1700. This fluid offers improved heat resistance compared to the original formulation, but absolutely cannot be used in newer models requiring CVTF3 specifications. Critical warning, some 2019 models transition to CVTF3 mid-year. Your owner's manual contains the definitive specification, but many dealers assume all 2019 models use the same fluid, causing expensive mistakes. 2020 and newer models, the turbo fluid revolution. Here's where it gets really expensive to mess up. Turbocharged models require high-torque CVT fluid in orange or amber containers. Part number SOA-427V1900. This fluid handles the increased torque output from turbocharged engines that would destroy standard CVT fluid within months. Using standard CVTF2 or CVTF3 in turbo models causes belt slippage and valve body contamination. The problem is a specific solenoid in the valve body of the CVT 
it's known to prematurely fail. If you're experiencing these solenoid issues, what will happen is you'll get a lot of dash lights and you'll get some codes thrown up and you'll need to take it to the dealer for them to figure out what's wrong. Requiring complete transmission replacement, the damage occurs immediately but doesn't show symptoms until 40,000 to 60,000 miles later. Which fluid goes in your specific Subaru? TR580, Transmissions Handle Impreza, Crosstrek, Naturally Aspirated Forester, Base Legacy, and Outback models. 2012 through 2017 models need CVTF 2 green fluid 4 and 2 tenths quarts. 2018 through 2024 models need CVTF 3 low viscosity green fluid 4 and 2 tenths quarts. TR690 transmissions handle turbo models and ascent. All years use high torque CVT fluid in orange or amber containers, 4 and 8 tenths quarts. Never substitute standard fluid types. Fluid mixing catastrophe prevention. Never mix different CVT fluid types under any circumstances. Even adding one quart of incorrect fluid to three quarts of correct fluid causes belt slippage, valve body contamination, and complete transmission failure requiring full replacement. If you discover wrong fluid in your transmission, immediate complete fluid replacement might save the transmission if caught within 1,000 miles. Beyond that mileage, internal damage becomes irreversible. Understanding cost helps justify proper maintenance, but success requires correct procedures and equipment. Let's examine exactly what's needed for professional quality results. The tools and procedures, professional results in your garage. Proper CVT maintenance requires specific procedures that differ dramatically from traditional automatic transmission service. Understanding these requirements helps decide between DIY service and professional maintenance while avoiding costly mistakes. Essential equipment for DIY CVT service. Safety and access equipment. Professional grade automotive jack rated for your vehicle weight. Heavy duty jack stands with appropriate height range. Safety glasses for fluid handling protection. Chemical resistant nitrile gloves. Absorbent pads for spill containment. Precision measurement tools. Infrared thermometer with laser targeting accurate to plus or minus two degrees. Torquey wrench accurate at 25 foot pound specification. Graduated measuring container for fluid quantity verification. Extended funnel system for transmission fill access. Diagnostic equipment requirements. OBD2 scanner with Subaru protocol support for relearn procedures. Budget options include Blue Driver or Autel AP 200 scanners. Professional options include Launch CRP 129X or Foxwell NT 650 units. Step by step professional CVT service procedure. Pre-service preparation, verify exact fluid specification using VIN lookup or owner's manual reference. Purchase correct fluid quantity plus one extra quart for potential spillage. Obtain new drain plug washer specific to your model year. Ensure vehicle parking on completely level surface. Transmission warming phase. Start engine and drive vehicle 10 to 15 minutes, reaching full operating temperature. Park on level surface, engaging parking brake firmly. Leave engine running throughout entire procedure. Shift through all gear positions, holding each for 10 seconds minimum. Critical temperature monitoring. Locate overflow tube access point on transmission case. Check fluid temperature using infrared thermometer. Must read between 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside this range, fluid level will be incorrect when reaching operating temperature. Drainage and refill procedure. Position drain pan with minimum five quart capacity under drain plug location. Remove drain plug using appropriate socket size, avoiding damage to aluminum threads. Allow complete drainage for 15 to 20 minutes ensuring all fluid removal. Install new drain plug washer and torque a fastener to exact 25 foot-pound specification. Locate fill tube access requiring extended funnel for proper reach. Add fluid slowly monitoring overflow tube for steady drip indication of proper level. System relearn and verification. Connect diagnostic scanner and perform CVT relearn procedure. Resetting adaptive parameters for new fluid viscosity. Cycle through all gear positions while engine running verifying smooth operation. Recheck fluid level Level and adjust if necessary for steady overflow drift. Critical temperature management throughout service. Transmission fluid temperature must remain between 95 and 113 degrees throughout the entire procedure. Below 95 degrees results in underfilling when transmission reaches operating temperature. Above 113 degrees causes thermal expansion leading to dangerous overfilling. 
Professional procedures, success tips. Never attempt service with cold transmission as fluid level will be completely incorrect. Always verify temperature immediately before final fluid level adjustment. Double check fluid specification before adding any quantity. Maintain detailed service records for warranty protection purposes. When professional service makes sense, DIY CVT service requires significant equipment investment and precision procedures. If you lack proper tools, diagnostic equipment, or feel uncertain about any procedure step, professional service protects your transmission investment while maintaining warranty coverage. The bottom line, your CVT survival strategy. The maintenance reality is brutally simple. Follow dealer recommendations and budget for transmission replacement around 80,000 to 100,000 miles. Or implement proper maintenance procedures and potentially double your CVT's functional lifespan. The financial mathematics. Proper maintenance following 30,000 mile intervals costs approximately $1,000 over 100,000 miles of ownership. Ignoring maintenance requirements and replacing failed CVT costs $6,000 to $10,500. The economic choice is obvious for anyone planning long-term vehicle ownership. What actually works in practice? Independent shops specializing in Subaru service consistently document CVTs exceeding 200,000 miles when maintained using 30,000 mile intervals with correct fluid specifications. Dealer maintained vehicles following 100,000 mile official schedules rarely exceed 120,000 miles without requiring major transmission service. Your immediate action plan. Check your current mileage against your last CVT service date. If approaching 30,000 miles since last fluid change, schedule service immediately using correct specifications and procedures outlined in this video. Document all service for warranty protection. Every technical service bulletin, fluid specification, and reliability study referenced today is linked in the first comment below. No speculation, no dealer marketing, just verifiable maintenance procedures that preserve transmissions in real-world conditions. What's your current CVT maintenance approach? Have you experienced problems following dealer recommendations or success with shorter intervals? Share your model year, current mileage, and maintenance history in the comments. Real owner experiences help everyone make better decisions about protecting their transmission investment. Next week, we're investigating Toyota's hybrid all-wheel drive system and why it might represent the reliability alternative that Subaru used to deliver. Don't miss it if you want genuine dependability without CVT maintenance anxiety. This channel prioritizes maintenance facts over dealer profit margins. If you want honest automotive content respecting your intelligence and protecting your wallet, subscribe and activate notifications. See you in the next one.